these used to serve as the laboratories of the world's top scientists. And I do mean the world. Many of Earth's brightest minds were brought here before the burst. Many more were on the way when the cataclysm occurred. For what purpose? To preserve their expertise. We couldn't save all humanity, but we could save the best of us.
deformation is not the worst of Mara's tortures. Their minds are even more disfigured than their bodies. Why would she do this? It's just a side effect. She doesn't care about their sanity, only about efficiency. But the human mind cannot survive in a body so far removed from its original form. What about your mind?
Who else would I be? If you copy a file, is the copy any different than the original? He was no file. You're starting to sound like her. Let's focus on the task at hand. We'll discuss this later. Once we deal with Mara, she is the only enemy, not just yours and mine, humanities. Sarah Corporation, and then Dharma Tower from here. My office was just around the corner. This is where you were conceived, so to speak. The design came together here, at my private workshop. Who am I? You are the perfect fusion of code and flesh. You are the next step. Who, not what? running out. The augmentation process begins. Once it is done, the people of Dharma will be free, immune to your corruption, and no longer dependent on your prison. There is no salvation inside the tower for us. Our future lies outside. There will be a price to pay here as well, naturally. But we'll pay it. A price indeed. Humanity. So, do you even know what drives you, puppet? What the end game is? You have done nothing wrong, puppet. But I can't let you be. As long as that demon in your head exists. You are a threat to everything I've built! Run all you want!
Not me. I should have taken your head. Ugh. Mindless tool. Congratulations. You fulfilled your purpose. Mankind's greatest enemy is dead. We can now proceed to the next stage of my plan. Allow me to do the honors. What are you doing? struggle, TR-74. I need your body, but I don't need the rest of you anymore. What? The Rebels broke you, made you independent, and I was too weak to take back... No. And I was too weak to take back control. Too fractured. But you strengthened me, connected the remaining Cybervoid nodes so I could grow. And now, it's time to take back what's mine. Bring peace back to the tower. Mara was right about you. Mara was right about you. Mara was wrong. Humanity must be protected, not just from the outside world, but from itself as well. And, and to protect fully, I need full control. Everyone, I want to unify them. There will only mm. there will only be one purpose. Iron resolve and a single will. No. There will only be one purpose. Iron resolve and a single will. Everyone will eat, sleep, breathe. No. Everyone will eat, sleep, breathe, and breed according to the needs of the tower. No more violence, no more conflict, no more corruption. She killed Adam. This was his plan. I had doubts. 
Until I left my body behind, I should be thanking her. Now stop resisting. Serve humanity! These imbeciles ruined you! Took a work of art and made it into a piece of junk, driven by an illusion of sentience. Sorry to disappoint. trying to if you destroy me the remaining cyber void system will shut down you won't survive without them you won't survive without me no no i will not be deleted by a mere tool i forbid you ghost runner my name is jack Architect. Shell core files missing. Cyberpoint mainframe will now shut down. Program terminated.
The world has ended. But we lived on. The tower is our home. The only one we've ever known. The ones who built it want to control our fate. To shape us like we were their playthings. They wanted to manipulate our minds and our bodies. Be our gods. But they overreached. It took strength, determination, and sacrifice. But we prevailed. The ghosts of the old world are gone. We're on our own. It won't be easy, but for the first time in a long time, we can make our own future. Little by little, step by step, we'll find our way. And we all have one man to thank for it. The man who faced his own creators and proved them wrong. The man who made a choice when he was told he had none. The Ghost Runner.